Hello and welcome to your English news broadcast live on Air TV. It's exactly 10.30 p.m. on Air Choice Local Greenwich from our headquarters at Asmara with your domestic and international news in brief. I'm Zahra Badouri, but first we'll begin with your major headlines for this hour. Announcement from the Ministry of Health. The Northern Red Sea region's governor tours of inspection. Luanda flood uh, death toll rises to 24, thousands uh, displaced. Drought reaches a critical level at the lake uh, dries up. Welcome to your domestic in brief. Eritrean patients have been diagnosed positive for COVID-19 and tests carried out today at quarantine centers in Asmara, four people, central region and uh, in current four people and civil region, respectively, as your health report. On the other hand, four patients have been uh, receiving medical treatment in hospitals in the central region, have recovered fully and have been discharged from these facilities. The total number of recovered patients has accordingly risen uh, to 3,410, while the number of deaths still stands at 10. The total number of confirmed cases in the country to date has increased to 3,605. Ministry of Health, Asmara, 23 April 2021. The governor of the Northern Red Sea region, Mrs. Asmarat Abraha, conducted tour to the subzones of Adobaha and Naqfa with a view to inspect the situation of the social services provision institutions put in place within the subzones. In the course of uh, her tour conducted from 15 to 21 April, Mrs. Asmarat visited the educational health facilities as well as water project projects in the administrative uh, area of uh, Darit Adobaha subzone, as well as uh, the new health station uh, that was recently constructed in Ila Ababu administrative area Adobaha subzone. Mrs. Asmarat also conducted decision discussion uh, with the area administrators, school directors, and representatives of the public on the situation situation of the social services institutions and other challenges uh, that the public is facing. In the discussion, Mrs. Asmarit called for due attention on schools' enrollment of female students on water and soil conservation with a view to boost agricultural production and increase participation of the public in the implementation of the charted out development programs. The participants on their part commanding for visit of the governor to visit to first-hand observe the situation in their subzones expressed readiness to reinforce participation in the implementation of the design development programs. On your final domestic water and soil conservation popular campaign is being conducted in all administrative areas in Arraza subzone. The popular campaign uh, that started in mid-February included includes construction of terraces and water divergence schemes with a view to readdress the environment and boost agricultural productivity, indicating so indicating that so far water and soil conservation activity has been conducted on 1,735 hectares of land. Mr. Mel Akef Sahaye, water and soil conservation expert in the subzone, has said that the program will continue until the coming of the rainy season. According uh, to documents in Araza subzone, uh, there is about 15,000 hectares of arable land. Up next with your international news, do stay with us for more. And on your global report, more than 11,000 people affected and at least 2,300 people homeless flooded, flooded provincial governments, say. The death toll from a torrential rainstorm that hit Angola's capital, Luanda, this week has risen to 24, with more than 2,000 homes flooded. According to officials, the hours-long storm pounded the coastal city of, on Monday, triggering flash floods 
uh, that brought down buildings and swept away trees and cars. In quotation, uh, the number of deaths has risen uh, from 14 to 24, Luanda's provincial government uh, said in a statement uh, late on Wednesday. At least 2,344 homes were flooded and 60 collapsed. It added, according to AFP News Agency, a total of 11,745 people have been affected. Uh, four health uh, centers, four bridges and 14 schools were also submerged. Rubble was scattered along Luanda Street on Tuesday as residents took shot, uh, stoke of the damage accused caused uh, the day before widening uh, through water drenches patched of land. Several houses had caved in roofs and uh, broken uh, down uh, brick walls. At the time, uh, the national agency said the, flush, uh, fl the flash flood uh, had uh, had displaced some 8,000 people. Heavy downpours are not unusual in Angola during the rainy season. However, 41 people died and more than 300 homes were destroyed by flooding in January last year, affecting more than 2,000 families. Authorities fear that once uh, thriving bodies of water uh, that uh, served uh, surrounding communities may turn into dusty plains. Uh, drought uh, conditions now cover 85 percent of Mexico, and residents of the ni nation's uh, central region said Thursday that lakes and reservoirs are simply drying up, including uh, the, sec the country's second largest body of uh, fresh water. The mayor of Mexico City said the drought was the worst worst in 30 years and the problem can be seen at the reservoirs that store water from other states to supply the capital. Some of them in the, in the Villa Victoria Lake uh, Reservoir west of, west of the capital are at once one-third of their normal capacity with a month and a half to go before any significant rain is expected. Isaias uh, Salagado 660 was trying to fill his water tank uh, truck at Villa Victoria. A a task that normally takes him just a half an hour. On Thursday, he estimated it was taking three and a half hours to pump water into his 10,000 liter, 2,641 gallon tanker. Salgado said uh, that the reservoir is drying up, however, adding he also said uh, that if they keep uh, pumping water out. By May, it will be completely dry and the fish will die. Mexico City Mayor uh, Claudia Shanbon alleged, uh, alleged that as the drought worsened, more people would tend to, would, would trend uh, to water their lawn and gardens, which excribidate uh, the problem. The capital's nine million inhabitants rely on reservoirs uh, Lake Villa Victoria and to others which together are about 44 percent capacity for a quarter of their water. Most of the res recent comes uh, from wells within uh, city limits, uh, but the city's own water table is dropping and leaky pipes waste much of the what's brought into the city. On your final report, Russia announced on Tuesday it was ordering troops back to base from the area near the border with Ukraine, apparently calling an end to a building up of tens of thousands of soldiers that had alarmed the West. The currencies of both Russia and Ukraine rose sharply after the announcement singling brief among visitors just hours after Russia also ended a war game in Crimea. The peninsula is it occupied and annexed from Ukraine in 2014. A confirmed uh, pullout of the troop brought in uh, the top of the permanent uh, con contingent will take likely to become to welcome by Western countries that had been expressing alarm at the prospect of further Russian in interventions in eastern Ukraine. Russian-backed uh, separatists have been fighting uh, the Ukrainian government in the region since 2014. Uh, the Ukrainian president spokesman said this month that Russia and 
had more than 40,000 troops deployed on Ukraine's eastern border and covered 40 more thousand in Crimea. Around 50,000 of them were new deployments. She added Moscow has not provided any troops no, any troops in number. In a tweet, uh, President, President uh, Vladimir Zelensky said Ukraine, in a quote, welcomes any step to decrease the military presence and uh, descalates uh, the situation in uh, Donbas, eastern Ukraine, adding uh, in quotation, uh, grateful uh, to international partners for their support. Foreign Minister Diotro Kuluba had told Reuters that Kyiv uh, Kyiv did not know did not know whether Moscow ten, intended to launch an attack or not, and said that the West must make clear it would stand with Ukraine if Russia did so. Kolova further alleged in a quotation, uh, saying, uh, "So it can go in either direction now, and this is why the reaction of the West, uh, the consolidation, consolidated reaction of the West, is so important now to prevent Putin from making that decision." Unquote. U.S. State Department spokesman. Ned Price uh, said West Washington was aware of Russia's announcement and was watching the situation on the border closely, in quotation saying, we have heard words I think that we will be looking for it for is action, unquote, Price said. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shugo said he had ordered uh, troops in involved in exercises to return to their base by May 1, as they had completed what he called an inspiration in the border area. Shugo said that he believes uh, the objective of the SNAP inspection have been fully achieved. Uh, the troops have demonstrated their ability to provide a credible defense for the country. Dear viewers, that is all for now with your domestic and international news and brief. Until we are back with some more news, stay and enjoy the rest of our programs. But until then, have a nice day.